Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the Magician card. So you're very, very busy doing whatever you're doing at the moment. You're multitasking, you're working according to deadlines. Uh, you know, you're very, very busy. Uh, and it's a lot of intellectual work you're managing to strategize. Uh, it's also about a lot of communication that is going on. It is a card that is ruled by Mercury. So, you know, a lot of mental energy going into whatever you're doing at the moment. You've got the chance card, so there's some risk uh, you need to take. So there's some opportunity that is going to present itself to you, and you might need to take that chance and go for it. So uh, the card above it is inspiration, so it's the sun card. So a lot of hard work needed to go into whatever you're doing, but you are going to be seeing a lot of rewards and a lot of success coming in with this card. Uh, it's the sun card, and it's going to be something uh, that brings in a lot of success. And there might be some travel as well involved with this particular card, because, um, uh, you know, you've got uh, that uh, sign of Sagittarius over here, and this is about expansion and travel and, uh, you know, meeting and communicating with a lot of people. So in the past, you've got the Alliance card over here. So there's some kind of good friendship, somebody coming in there to help you. There might be something that you have made, uh, you know, a very reliable person, a very good business contact, or somebody, uh, a very um, uh, prominent business contact that is giving you that help and advice that you need. And that's happened in the past. You've been spending a lot of time by yourself, maybe very, very focused on your work as well. Um, you've got the solitude card over here. So, uh, you know, it seems like when you're not working or whatever work you're doing, maybe a very solitary kind of job that you're doing. So working uh, by yourself, being very, very independent. And maybe that's why this friendship is a good one, because, you know, it allows you to um, express yourself as well. So, uh, you know, get things off your chest as well. Um, maybe you've been feeling very, very lonely in your job. Now, going into the future, you've got the Argonaut card over here and the Regeneration card. So the Argonaut card, it's about travel. It's about expanding your horizons. It's about, you know, putting your message to a broader audience as well. So there could be some travel that is involved in your work. So you might be doing a lot of business trips, but it's also collaborating with a, a broader audience, uh, you know, uh, putting... Or even starting a venture that has not been done before. So you might be, um, you know... Uh, expanding into unknown territory, really, with that Argonaut card. It's a card of discovery. It's a card of expansion. And you're needing to take things from the past. The regeneration card is pulling in lessons or re doing research from the past and applying it into the future or into applying it into your plans now uh, in order for you to make uh, whatever you're doing a success. So this is requiring a lot of research, and it's also digging into the past a lot um, as well. Uh, in order for you to make a success of your plan. So big changes are coming in for you here. You are There is some kind of risk that you are going to have to take, and it is something that is groundbreaking, something brand new that you are going to do. It's going to make you a bit uncomfortable because it's out, out, out of your comfort zone, really. But, uh, you know, if you do the research, uh, it will be successful. And you're going to be very, very busy, and you're going to be able to manifest it. And it's going to be successful because the magician is usually successful manifestation, but you need to be... Uh, you know, very positive. You've got that sun card over here, so that is talking about positive outcomes and success in whatever venture uh, you de you decide to do. So whatever that risk is, um, or that new thing you're going to do, it looks like it's going to have a positive outcome and it's going to be successful. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Vanessa Tarot. Um, I have put the deck in the description box, so have a look. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Wands over here. So you're going to be very, very busy soon. Like the Magician in the previous read, you are going to be very, very busy multitasking, doing a lot of things, having a lot of communication going on, maybe sending out a lot of messages, maybe a lot of messaging coming in to you. Uh, but you need to be very, very organized so that you're not overwhelmed. Make sure that you are planned up uh, so that, you know, you're not... Um, you don't get surprised. There are no surprises, really. Uh, and so this is also could be uh, about some travel coming in for you here with this Eight of Wands. But things are starting to move pretty quickly for you. So the energy of stagnancy is over. Now, you've got that Five of Coins over here, and it's crossed by the Knight of Swords. So there may have been some kind of legal uh, issue that you were facing, and there was some kind of 
financial loss. So some kind of message came in or some kind of decision was made with this Knight of Swords that led, uh, you know, where you you received news or there was some kind of judgment that was made and this led to some financial loss um, uh, that you are now facing or dealing with. You've got that King of Swords, so there was some kind of legal decision or legal battle that you were going through, some kind of official decision that was made, and it was it didn't go in your favor because um, you've got that Five of Coins over here, and that is talking about that financial loss. The news has just come in, uh, that decision has been pending for maybe for the past year, and uh, the news has come in and has caused financial loss. It, it seems like whatever you've invested in, didn't pay off as well because you've got that seven of so of coins and this is about disappointment after investing a lot of effort and energy into something so you're feeling a bit down and out really uh, you can see uh, feeling very very miserable and having to deal with this loss but the, you know this is something that has happened this is energy that has passed and it looks like it's about to change now. You know, things are about to turn around for you. You've got that Eight of Wands coming in over there. And you've got that Ace of Swords. So, you know, you are considering starting something brand new, a new project. And this might also involve some kind of travel. So maybe even taking on a new job that's going to involve new travel. Now, there's celebration coming in over here. So there you've got some people around you that are very, very supportive with this Three of Cups. Uh, but this is also, uh, you know, ending of old cycles, beginning of new cycles as well. You've got that end of that old moon over there and you have people around you that are going to be able to give you that support to get through whatever this uh, disaster was in your life and you've got that ace of swords over here and this is victory so uh you know this is having clarity of thought this is taking uh back your control back your power um you know and also um cutting out all that uh from the past that didn't serve you maybe walking away from this particular situation that happened uh, and taking back control and power again with that Ace of Swords over here. And also coming up with a new plan, a new strategy on how to do things. And this is where you are at the moment. You are sitting over there making decisions on how to actually move forward. It is positive because, uh, you know, it's now you are not being, um, you're not feeling down and out. Uh, although you went through this loss and you can see this person is, is really has their back to the wall in a very, very difficult position, it looks like, you know, you are going to be able to conquer and you are taking back your authority. You're getting back uh, your victory. So you are taking back control of the situation. You've got the world card over here coming in for you. So this could be, a, you know, this could be a new job coming in that's going to bring in a lot of recognition. Because this is the card that is ruled by Saturn and rules work. And this will eventually, you know, maybe you're starting a, new, a brand new path. Uh, with this new job is going to bring you a lot of success. So whatever you have gone through in the past, it seems like that phase is now over. There was a lot of loss in it. And you had, you know, a financial loss. There's emotional problems that went through it. Uh, but it looks like and something new is going to be coming in for you with this universe card. And it's going to bring in a lot of success. And it's also going to make use of all your talents and skills that you have learned from the past. Um, and it might involve some travel as well, international travel. So what you want is to get on with that job, get on with work, and you know you, you want to focus on your work. And you're willing to put in the hard work with this Knight of Coins. So going into the future, you've got that Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So uh, with the Wheel of Fortune is things in, and events coming into your arena that's going to change things and bring in that positive shift. And it looks like there's news coming in as well. So, uh, you know, that old cycle is now finished and done with and you are now going to be beginning something brand new over here. And things will change, uh, you know, things uh, maybe things beyond your control, but events that are going to be positive, that are going to bring. So opportunities are going to be coming your way. That's going to allow you to leave that five of, um, you know, the five of swords, or even maybe there were some problems with the people that you were working with, but you've got the six of swords, so you're moving. You might be even traveling overseas because you've got this traveling over water over here and moving away from difficult situations. So whatever legal problems you face, you are now be, you'll be able to leave it behind and move forward. And it looks like there's somebody that's going to give you assistance or help to be able to get over for this particular problem now you've got that five of swords over here it looks like uh you know you're gonna have to leave whatever that situation was and walk away from it it caused a lot of confusion and problems though whoever you dealt with or whatever that situation was they were victorious and you were not there was a lot of vindictive behavior um uh, you know maybe the people were being very very spiteful and you know that it, it seems like it was a no-win situation so you it seems like you've decided to turn your back and walk away from that particular scenario and move into something better because there is a new opportunity coming in for you with that world card. And, you know, you need to act with confidence 
uh, because things are going to start going your way now. Because you're going to be very, very busy. Very, very, very busy. And this is all positive, uh, you know, but you need to really be organized to make sure you have a new plan in place. So this is um, the cards from the Fairy Tarot, and this is the Oracle Read, and here you have the Ace of Summer. So something brand new coming in for you, a beginning of a new friendship, or a, a rebirth of a current one, awakening of psychic abilities, and spiritual uh, epiphanies. So with the Ace of Summer is about like the Ace of Cups. So new opportunity coming your way, and there might be an opportunity for uh, for study as well coming over here about opportunity for learning um and it is also a new job opportunity coming or some kind of work opportunity coming the beginning of something brand new that's going to be very very fulfilling for you because you've got that eight of autumn as well and this is about learning on the job so whatever this new opportunity that comes your way uh is also going to open up the avenues for studying and uh you know specializing or improving your skill set as well because this is like being um you know uh the apprentice and learning uh, and so this is do more research before proceeding education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship or long term projects. So something long term coming in over here. And with this ace of summer sitting next to the ace of autumn, there's definitely a learning opportunity or study opportunity there while you are working. And then you've got the ten of winter, whatever that situation was, it might have been something legal uh, is now ended. It's finished. It's done with. You have to walk away from it. You can see uh, even with the five of swords walking away from it you dealt with something or a situation that was really really uh you know a no-win situation and uh, you're going to have to just leave it and and walk away from it there's a resolution of difficulties here a weight lifted off your shoulders and the end of uh, addiction or codependency so whatever that situation was was not very very good uh, there might have been a lot of backstabbing, vindictive behavior going on like i said and uh, it is now time for you to let it go uh, put it to rest and walk away and walk into something brand new. So these new opportunities are coming in for you. Uh, don't let uh, whatever you've been through in the past color your experiences for the future because it looks like it's all going to be positive. You've got that three of cups over there. So there is some kind of celebration coming in. There is some kind of new opportunity coming in that you will celebrate and you're going to get a lot of recognition and be able to make a lot of progress in this new position that comes in for you. Or this new situation that comes in for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.